Alright bro, so what's up guys, Airball here and I'm back with our video and today I'm showing you the new best post score build in NBA 2K22. Now I know that I've done um, like a few videos like this in the past, but now I know this is for sure the best post score build. Make sure to stay tuned, this is a crazy build, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we're on the road to 900 subs and yeah, let's get right into this video. So you want to go with the center uh, for the position and the pie chart, you want to go with the pure blue pie chart. Uh, so you can get the best post hook, you'll also have a really good post control. Now the physicals, you want to go with the third pie chart. So this one right here, 61 speed, 89 strength. So go with this one right here. Now the finishing, put your close shot to a 92 and max out your standing dunk and post hooks to get 30 finishing badges. Um, now the shooting, put your mid range shot up to a 38 and then max out your free throw and then your post save to get seven shooting badges. Now playmaking, max out the pass hack you're seeing and then put your ball handle to a 36. Then max out that post control to get 20 playmaking. Now the defense, max out the interior defense, max out the block, max out the offensive rebound, and max out the defensive rebound. So you get 11 defensive badges. So this is basically the 68 bad post score build. This, this is uh, the most badges a build can get in 2K22. Uh, so yeah, body shape. We're going to go Burley for the body shape right here. Now the height. The height. What you actually want to do for this build, you want to go to 7 feet. So default height, 7 feet. If you go too small, then like, you know, you do get a plus in speed. But, you know, 6'9 post score, it's not going to be that good. And 7'3, you lose so much speed that, like, it's not even going to be, like, it's not going to be that good at all. So 7'3, definitely don't go with that. Go 7 feet for the height right here, okay? Uh, now the weight. The weight, this is what we're going to do for the weight here, bro. Um, what you want to do, you want to drop it to 237 pounds. Now, I know what you're saying right now. You lose, you lose that strength and stuff, and you only have a 64 speed. What's the point? But basically, at 99 overall gym rat, as you can see, um, they'll give you a plus 8, so 64 plus 8 is 72, and then 60 plus 8 is um, 68, so 72 speed, 68 acceleration um, for this 7 foot tall post score, that's going to be pretty nice, you also get that plus in driving dunk, your acceleration and your vertical. Now the wingspan, the wingspan, you actually want to go one below max, okay? So um, the reason why we're not going max is because you lose that one in strength. As you can see, if you go down one, then you get that plus in strength. Now, again, I know what you guys are saying. 79 strength, that's not that good for a post score. But like I said before, that plus that plus eight from 99 to gym rat, that'll be 87 strength right there. Okay, so you can also get that plus, another plus four. Or no, you can just get um plus four from getting your what is it your uh gatorade workouts done every single week and also from getting 99 overall on um, that yeah that's how you get that plus eight um so yeah you'll have a 72 speed 68 acceleration 87 strength and a 63 vertical now 87 strength with back town punisher on hall of fame that's gonna be pretty toxic and of course you'll have a good speed so yeah uh the finishing you have a 96 close shot with a 99 standing duck and a 99 post hook that, that 99 post hook is going to be toxic. That's, I'm not going to lie. That, that 99 post hook is going to be toxic. You have a 78 free throw with an 81 post fade. So with that post takeover, that'll be a 91. Now the playmaking, you have a, a 67 pass accuracy with a 97 post control. Now the defense, 79 interior defense, 83 or 84 block, 83 offensive rebound, and an 83 defensive rebound. So yeah, really good defensive stats here. Um, obviously you have a good post fade. You got 20 playmaking badges with the 30 finishing badges. Um, and also good physicals here. Now, takeover. I'm going to go with the post scoring takeover here. Obviously, since this is a post score. And yeah, this build is a glass cleaning finisher. She has Kareem Abdul Jabbar, um, Jonas Valanciunas, and DeAndre Ayton. And yeah, I'm going to uh, show you guys the badges here. There are 68 badges on this build. Um, so yeah, let's just get this 99 right here. So yeah, the finishing, um, like I said before, back down Punisher on Hall of Fame is a must have, uh, especially if you have like, a lower kind of strength a little bit. I mean, 87 is low, but 87 strength with Hall of Fame back down Punisher, it's just going to be glitchy. Uh, and then you want to go mouse in the house because uh, most centers are like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, so, and you're going to be like 7 feet. So yeah, um, you'll be able to just make layups over smaller defenders. You want to go hook specialist Hall of Fame, no explanation there. Um, Pro Touch on Hall of Fame. You want to go Post Spin Technician. And then I'm going to go with, um, oh, Drop Stepper 2. We're going to go Drop Stepper here. And then I'm going to go Unstrippable. And then I'm going to go with, I'm going to go Rise Up here. So yeah, this is sort of like a Shaq kind of build, you know what I mean? Back Down Punisher, Drop Stepper, Rise Up, Mouse in the House, all that stuff. Uh, now the shooting, 
The shooting going on fade ace right here and then difficult shots. Difficult shots helps out with your post fades. And the rack, we're actually going to go with sniper right here. Um, because that does help you with hitting whites and stuff. So yeah, the playmaking. Um, you want to go unpluckable. You want to go triple threat juke. And you want to go quick first step. Um, let's see, you want to go post playmaker. And then special delivery. We're going to go glue hands here. And then we're going to go with needle threader. So yeah, right there. Now look, 11 defensive badges right here. That's going to be really good. Uh, rebound chaser, rim protector. And you want to go intimidator. And then um, for me, it's, I'm, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go chase down artists on bronze and brick wall on bronze. Um, but yeah, that is it. Hey, fag video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get to 900 subs. And this is Airball. Peace.